Hello, friends and all aspiring jazz musicians. Today, we will be discussing the most commonly used jazz instruments, which consist of three primary components, the rhythm section, the horn section, and vocalists. Let's start with identifying the three foundational instruments of the rhythm section, drums, bass, and piano. The drums are a very important part of the rhythm section, seeing that its main function is to establish and maintain consistent, accurate time and meter. It consists of the bass drum, snare, sock cymbal, rod cymbal, and toms. When played all together, the drummer emphasizes the swing beats played on two and four. The upright bass, also called the double bass, its primary function is to play the root notes of a given chord, holding down the bottom and laying down heavy groove patterns, building the foundation that holds it all together. One notable sound of the jazz upright bass is the style of the walking bass line, which further outlines the pulse commonly identified as the term swing. Last but not least, completing the basic rhythm section is the piano. The piano is the nucleus of the rhythm section that is responsible for creating colorful harmonies, accompanied vocalists, and horn players. This instrument can also be played with no accompaniment at all, often called solo piano, where the key components of music identified as rhythm, melody, and harmony is beautifully expressed. The piano improvises melodically, playing single notes in their right hand while comping chords in their left hand. This will complete a basic three-piece rhythm section commonly called a trio. Some bands, depending on taste, would also use the guitar in addition or interchangeably with the piano, both serving similar functions. Now let's talk about the second component called the horn section, consisting of woodwinds and brass. The commonly used woodwinds are the soprano saxophone, the alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, baritone saxophone, flutes, and clarinet. The most commonly used brass instruments are the trumpet, trombone, and tuba. These two sections, the woodwinds and brass, are mostly used for playing melodies, improvising through changes, and embellishing harmony. The last component is the vocalist. Jazz vocalists often use an instrumental approach to the voice. The most common style is called scatting. Scat singing is vocal improvisation with wordless vocables, nonsense syllables, or without words at all. In scat singing, the singer improvises by gracefully combining melodies and rhythms using the voice as an instrument. Jazz musicians strive to have their own personal sound when choosing their instrument. You will find out that everyone will develop their own instinctive sound. That sound can be raspy, edgy, rough, smooth, pretty, soulful, warm, bright, or dark. 
My number one advice to young aspiring jazz musicians is to pick an instrument that you love and fits you. Listen to numerous records of different artists to find out your personal style and taste. And finally, the most important part of the journey in achieving the desired results are practice, practice, practice. Show, bum, dum, dum, do we ooh?